3.4 functions and variation. Variation is a huge idea in mathematics and it ties into the idea that language is an important part of mathematics, in particular translating between words and equations. So in math, varies means changes. And what we look at that's so important in pre-calc is covariation. What that means is that we have two variables, both of which are changing. As one variable changes, the other changes. So we've looked at that with a number of graphs, such as linear equations, where our output increases as our input increases, or maybe our output decreases our, as our input in increases. But in both those cases, we see that y varies as x. We see that also with quadratics. Again, our y value changes as x changes. So for example, we can have a ball that is falling through the air. then we know that the ball's distance from the ground varies as time increases. So we know the distance will vary as time increases. So the distance will equal something times time. And we can say that that something is a k value. Or we can have two magnets. Those are my happy little drawings of magnets. And let's say that they are attracted to each other. So we have a positive and a negative. Well, the force of the traction between the magnets varies as the distance between the magnets decreases. So we know that the magnets will be more strongly attracted to each other as they're closer together. Hopefully, this gives you an understanding of what it means for two things to co-vary that as one changes, we see a change in the other. What we're going to focus on in this section are three types of variation. And the first is direct variation. For example, we're all familiar with the equation c equals pi times d, where c is the circumference of a circle and d is the diameter. This means that the circumference varies directly as the diameter. So we know that c varies directly as d, and in this case, we know that k is in fact the value of pi. On a more abstract note, we can look at y equals negative 8 x to the fifth. This means that y varies directly as the fifth power of x, and that that variation is in fact negative 8. So here, y equals k times x to the fifth, where k equals negative 8. This means, in general, we see the equation either of y equals k times x, or y equals k times x to some exponent n, where n is a natural number. And this is for direct variation which brings us to example two. In example two, I want you to write the equations for the following statements, and you're going to be using the variable k to represent the constant of proportionality. because we won't know what that constant of proportionality is like we did above in example one. Or not example one, but in the direct variations. In part A, we knew that the constant of proportionality was pi. In B, we knew it was negative eight. But for these examples, you're just gonna let that constant of proportionality be k. So work these through, try your best. When you're ready, go on to the next video and see what the solutions are.